So hello and welcome friends to our channel Entromag and here we discuss about basic mechanical engineering concepts. So guys we have started our new series regarding the fixture designing and what are the basics of fixture designing. So clamping is one of the important parameter in fixturing. So we can clamp the job with the help of different kind of say mechanical or electrical devices. So now we are studying about the mechanical clamping devices. So today we will see about the toggle clamps which are the most widely used mechanical clamps in the industry. So do watch the video until end and do not forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for getting the more updates on the channel. So without testing time, let's get started. So we will see first what are the toggle clamps. So first we have the linkage arrangement. We have the crank and slider mechanism over here. So here you can see the horizontal action toggle clamp. So this is the clamp force direction. So the clamp force is getting applied in this di direction. So this is the fixed point and this is the direction of force release you can see. So you have to move the handle in this direction to unload the job or to remove the clamping force. So this is the clamp arm is constrained to move in horizontal direction only. So because of this, this clamp is constrained to move in this direction only, right? So you can see the clamping arm is held so that it can slide back and forth. So that's why it is a crank and slider mechanism, right? So let's see how it works. Now here you could see the application, the clamp is like constrained to move in this direction only. So when you are applying it, when you are moving the linkage, it is getting clamped, right? So this is the face with which it is getting clamped right now the action can be different you could see over here while when i move this backward it is getting clamped or vice versa if it moves in this direction it, it get clamped so it depends on the linkage how the linkage is right main thing over here is the action is horizontal the force which is getting applied is horizontal right now let's discuss some basic parameters so another thing we have the linkage arrangement which is the rotating clamp over here right so in the previous case we might have seen that this arm was fixed now here this clamping arm is also getting rotated right so you can see the direction of force release over here then the connecting link handle intention the clamping force is directed along line of action from the fixed point right so clamp arm is swinging around the pivot point rather than sliding right in the previous case the arm was sliding now in this case this arm will get swinged around the pivot point right so let's see how it works now here you could see the arm is like swinging around the pivot point and this is the face which is holding the job or clamping the job when i move this handle it is getting clamped and when i unlock it the part is getting unlocked right now you can adjust the stud position over here and according to that position you will get different holding force we will see that in the upcoming slides right so these are the basic types the horizontal action and this the rotating arm action right now let's see some basic parameters so these are the very important parameters when you select any kind of toggle clamp because you must know what is the hand force or the manual force and what is the exerting or clamping force and what is the holding force because while selecting the clamp you know you, you must know that which parameter should be considered right so what is the hand force now let's see first so here you could see this is the manual force or the hand force we are applying with the help of hand while clamping the job while while moving this handle of the clamp right 
we are exerting some force right so that is the manual force or the hand force right so then we have the exerting or clamping force now this is the exerting or clamping force so which is acting in downward direction in this case right so the clamping force is the amount of force which is applied to the workpiece by closing the locking mechanism right so when i close the locking mechanism it is exerting some kind of force which is the exerting force or the clamping force now then comes the holding force at the capacity which is the most important part you must see in the catalog what is the holding capacity of your toggle clamp because we have seen that in case of clamping you must hold the part you must secure the part in its correct position so that your clamp can take all the forces the clamp can resist all the forces and can hold your part in the correct position right so the holding capacity is listed for each toggle clamp refers to the maximum force that the clamp can safely resist in its locked position without incurring any permanent deformation that means when i apply the clamp the force it should not cause any permanent deformation to the part and also it should keep the part it should secure the part in its correct position so that is the main function of this clamp and while selecting the clamp you should keep these things into mind right so this is the spindle uh, position for the maximum capacity now here you could see this clamp position has changed so this position is for maximum capacity and this position is for maximum reach that means according to the location of your job and location of your clamp you can decide these things so we will see how this position affects your clamping force right now let's see how we can say select this clamp now we'll see how to select the clamp now Desteco is manufacturer of different products and we can see clamping they offer clamping we have gripping linear positioning in clamping we have like manual clamping then pneumatic clamps hydraulic clamps so it offers huge variety now let's select manual clamping now in manual clamping you can see lot of options available over here now these are the toggle clamps straight action clamps and they have different series according to their holding capacity right you can read the series over there so they have some different particular function or say they are categorized based on their holding capacity then we have clamps with the brakes now these brakes apply some additional holding capacity some impart some additional holding capacity to the clamp now let's see straight action clamps over here now we have some features you can select the imperial or the metric system then pdf you can have a catalog now let's go to the catalog now here you could see 630 series and you can see the, read the features over here what are the applications right and this is important now whatever we have seen is here f is nothing but your applied force which is nothing but the hand force right the ef is hc is a holding capacity ef is your exerting force f is the applied force this is nothing but the hand force ef is the exerting force and hc is the holding capacity right we have seen what are these things right now these things are available in the catalog so you must know which thing you should focus on here you could see ef is the exerting force and hc is the holding force that this much amount of force this clamp can hold right now in the catalog also you can see the maximum holding capacity you can see what is the maximum holding capacity over here right so this is the maximum holding capacity for this this clamp right and th this is the thing you should focus on that how much maximum uh, holding capacity your clamp is offering right now these are some ratios of say pushing and pulling that means the exerting force and the applied force it means how much when you apply how the uh, applied force how much exerting force you are getting this is the ratio you can see 36 as to 1 if you apply 1 newton of force you will get 36 newton exerting force now here there are some locations what is the opening angle closing angle because 
these things are also important what is the plunger tra travel how much maximum travel we get in the plunger right so uh, these things are important uh, from fixture designing because you have to check that whether it is fouling to some other parts or the, whether there is a available space for accommodating this thing or not right now let's check out some other series uh, we have straight action clamp for assembly testing of welding now let's check out its uh, catalog because in catalog we can get more information right so here there is the features for heavy duty now uh, this clamp can be used right and how the allow handle to rotate and fall below mounting plane to lock in retracted position so this is important lock so it gives an additional function of uh, locking additional locking mechanism that is the mechanical break over here you could see so that implies that adds some some holding capacity to the clamp as compared to the normal clamp right so when you require some uh, large holding capacity or you require some uh, like safety uh, you can go for these kind of clamps now you could see the force maximum holding capacity and you can compare it with the previous one right so other things you can check right now let's check out some other clamps we have seen the horizontal action now let's check out some vertical uh, action with the swivel arm mechanism right so let's check out the vertical hold down clamps so let's check out its uh, manual over here and what it offers so this is the manual again you can read the features and the model and the forces are given the angle opening and closing angles are given right and the holding capacity you could read over here right so this is the hold down clamp and you can read the applications whether you can use it and what is its advantage and uh, so many other things so it depends on you that which kind of clamp you want to use uh, according to your fixturing right now uh, let's see some of the calculation uh, part that while selecting the clamp how you can focus on this now let's check out some calculation part so go to the desktop and we have the resources over here we have case studies then literature view video gallery you can check out some videos custom catalog builder and then how to buy it so this is very important thing that how to buy the part now you can see different safety characteristics of the test echo manual clamps and so many other things and here how to calculate the exerting clamping force and the holding capacity so this is the thing how to calculate the exerting force the clamping force and the holding capacity we have seen what are these things and here you can learn and how to calculate the things and how uh, your forces are changing so this is the example they have given over here you can see the ef the exerting force and the holding capacity hc1 and hc2 so we have seen that how much force the it can give so this is the ratio of exerting forces over here the ratio of exerting forces they have given right and you can see hc1 example how you can calculate the things how to calculate the holding capacity and things we you can go through all these things so that you can understand it better and you can see if you have hc1 that is nearer to the clamp it gives the more holding force and hc2 it gives less holding force but the maximum reach which we have seen earlier right you can see hc1 is 4450 newton while hc2 is 2090 newton which is lesser right so you can just simply say if you move closer to the clamping position you will get maximum holding capacity right so this is the conclusion and you can check out how these calculations have been done right so you must focus on these things and whenever you select the catalog the maximum holding capacity has been mentioned that means when you clamp uh, the part with the nearer position that is the capacity if you clamp the part uh, say some uh, some extreme position you will get lesser force so you must know how much force you are getting right
Now let's see some other example uh, jargon. So they also uh, offers different kind of folding devices. We have toggle clamps over here. And when you go into the toggle clamps, you could see large options over here like tool of vertical hold down and horizontal hold down forces, uh, clamps, right? Then we have straight line action toggle clamps. Then we have vertical, we have the straight line action clamps with additional locking uh, mechanism, right? Which we have seen. So let's check out some uh, example. And then we have Misumi. In Misumi also, there are a lot of toggle clamp options available. So these are the different manufacturers like Desteco, then we have Jergons, Misumi. You could see large options are available over here. You can just go through them. You can read their catalogs, how much forces they are uh, offering, how much opening, closing angles they have. And depending on that, you can just select uh, your parts. So this is it about the clamping devices. Today we have seen the toggle clamps and I hope you understood the basic terminology. What are the different parameters you should see while selecting a toggle clamp from the catalog and so many other things. So if you have any doubts, please do write into the comment section and we can discuss over there. Until then, keep intro making and thank you for the patient listening. We will meet into the next session. Thank you.